A retired Supreme Court Judge Catherine McGuinness is Chair of the National Council of the Forum on the End of Life in Ireland. And Catherine joins us in studio. Uh, good afternoon, Catherine. Good afternoon. Uh, 51551 or rayadorty.ie. Now, just on your, on your own life... Um, you um, ended up in Trinity, you got married quite young, 21. Yes. yes. So mm-hmm. had you studied law in Trinity? Uh, no, not at that time no. I didn't. I studied Irish and French in Trinity. I was actually appointed to the adoption board and I was working on the adoption board in, at the time when people, when Irish children were still being adopted. And uh, so that, uh, that really means that I had a, quite a close view of what was happening in the in, with uh, unmarried mothers and the yes, placement yeah. of their children, but because of that, I was. We're going to come interested. back to that now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, the the uh, I was I got interested in the kind of legal aspects of adoption and so on. And one of the people who was on the board with me was a former district judge called John Farrell, and he said, "You know, you really should study law. You're interested in this." So I said, "Well, maybe that's an idea." So I went and I did. Law in Trinity and the King's Inns. Then, but the adoption board in the 1960s in Ireland. Um, well, so it would have been the 1970s. Was it yeah. right? Okay, mm-hmm. sorry, 1970s. Mm-hmm. Um, so, say the the the, the case of Philomena Lee, just the, yes. the most high-profile one. Um, so, what was your experience of things like that at that time? Well. Certainly the board itself used to try to, you know, do the very best they could to see that the. Uh, what was then called the natural mother, the biological mother, had uh, been f- signed up to all the correct forms and so on. That had had the consent. You had a consent to place for when the child was placed with the adoptive parents or the prospective adoptive parents, and then you had a further consent at a later stage, which was described as a final consent, but actually wasn't all that final because there were quite a number of cases in the High Court where mothers came back and challenged the adoption and some of them won and some of them lost mm. in fact uh, the most famous one was called G and on board the in 1980 and in that case the child was in fact returned to the biological mother but uh, and there and, were uh, cases like that but, but where were ye in relation to uh, the places like the outside Ross Grey Shan Ross was it that was called I think yes. that was the name of the place yeah. uh, where were we well we didn't did actually Did you realise go what was there. going on? But did you realise well, what was going on? We wouldn't have realised that it was going exactly what was going on. On the other hand, I must say that at the time you wouldn't have thought that the uh, that the mothers who were consenting to have their children placed for adoption that they really hadn't a great deal of choice mm. because that was at the t- before the time there was ever an unmarried mother's allowance they were s- their families had planked them into these places they were uh, deserted as it were they were left deserted and told that they had committed the immortal sin and so on and they were in a very vulnerable position and certainly it was clear that they were, shall we say, encouraged to place their children mm. for adoption. On the other hand, I certainly was at the time that I was around. There certainly was no sending them off to America and that mm. kind of thing. And that the then that yeah. was finished. And the then the then registrar of the adoption board, a guy called Tom Wolfe, who was very famous in the GAA actually, but he was registrar and he uh, fought like a tiger against kids being sent off to America though you know things the, the, the world turns round and round we think that this was absolutely appalling that our children were know, being I know sent what off you're going to say and then but, yes. but what do we do